Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use a controller, PS3 or PS4, to play controller supported games on your device. So down in the description I'll leave a list of applications or games that do support controllers. They're MFI supported controller games. Uh, so big nice list. The link for that is in the description. I'll also leave a couple of links for controllers in case you guys want to pick up a PS3 or PS4 controller to play games on your device. Uh, I'll find the cheapest prices I can and leave links for those in the description. Uh, but anyways, to kick this off, obviously your device must be jailbroken in order to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jump into Cydia and download a tweak called Controllers for All, as you guys can see how to spell it there. Uh, and that will automatically download another tweak with it called BT Stack. So go ahead and get controllers for all and it'll also install BT stack and then install them, respring your device. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is connect our device and our controller to our computer because we're going to have to pair the two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and connect my iPhone to my computer. And obviously I will be showing the Mac version of pairing these two together. So go ahead and connect your, your iPhone and also your PS3 controller to your computer, both of them. And now we will jump onto my computer. All right, now we are on my Mac. So like I said, we will have to pair our device to the controller. And the way we're gonna do that, at least on a Mac, is called a six pair. I will leave the link to download this program down in the description. I'll also find the Windows version of this and leave a link for that as well. Just keep in mind that the program is different for both Windows and Mac. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up the six pair uh, program here as you can see I do have my my iPhone and my PS3 both connected to my computer right now it shows Jeremy's iPhone I'm on 9.3.3 and then it also shows the PS3 controller so make sure that both are connected to your computer and then all you got to do is click on pair controller to iPhone and then as you can see controller paired to iPhone enjoy and that's all we needed the computer for all right now that our controller is paired to our iPhone the next thing you want to do is go into the settings application I'll back out uh, and just swipe down until you see controllers for all go ahead and go in there make sure it is enabled and then make sure that suppress notifications is turned off and then you have controller type make sure it's selected on ps3 or ps4 controller whichever you're using and then you are set to go so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up a mfi controller game like i said there's a limited amount of games from the app store that actually do support controllers again the list of those applications or games is in the description so be sure to check out to see if your favorite game is supported uh, for the controller so the, the game I will be doing is Dead Trigger 2 so we're gonna go ahead and launch Dead Trigger 2 and uh, you will get a notification here shortly that will say that it's trying to initialize with the controller there it is right there uh, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn the PS3 controller on just like so and it should pair to the uh, controller so as you can see it says it's connected with the notification you will have one light on your controller as you can see it switched to one light it's showing that it is connected now I do have this in the wrong orientation but I will show that this does work as you can see I just clicked on uh, play and then we will just kind of go through the menu here once it's done loading okay and we'll go to world this is extremely hard to do uh, in the wrong orientation. Let me go ahead and switch the orientation so I can actually play this for you guys. All right, so as you can see, I can easily go through all the menu here. We'll click on World, and then I can basically just use the controller just like a normal controller, which is pretty awesome considering I am using a PS3 controller. I'm going to do the last mission because it was actually uh, really cool to do with the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and select my way through. Let's see here. Back out. We'll select on this one, and then we will scroll down to replay. It does take a little bit of getting used to to actually do this, just a warning. So there you go, sniper, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, I am literally just using the controller to play this, which is honestly really, really cool using a PS3 controller to do this. Uh, another thing I will add, it is a little buggy to use. It's a headshot. Oh, headshot. It, this makes playing this style of game like a first person shooter so much easier than actually using touchscreen controls in my opinion it's awesome 
Uh, but one thing I was going to say is uh, that controllers for all is still a little bit buggy. If I were to exit the application right now and uh, just leave the game, it will crash my springboard. Uh, the way that you're going to want to actually exit the game is to disconnect your PS3 controller before you close the game to avoid a springboard crash. Uh, so basically the way you disable the controller is you click the PS3 button, just like so. And as you can see, there's a pop-up asking whether you want to disconnect the controller or not. Make sure that you click on disconnect. That way you disconnect your controller every time uh, before you leave the application. Otherwise, it will crash your springboard, like I said. And that's pretty much the only bug I've noticed. Um, otherwise, the controller does work for most of the applications I've tried out. There has been a couple here and there. Uh, that I can't get the controller to connect but for the most part it does work and it's seriously awesome so uh, that is pretty much it guys that is how you are going to connect your PS3 controller to your device which is going to allow you to play games uh, with that controller it's seriously awesome uh, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out if it did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one Later.